Breaking overnight, violent protests erupting across the nation following the deadly arrest of George Floyd. Here in New York City, more than 40 people were arrested or summonsed during a series of protests in Union Square. And in Minneapolis, the uh, protests growing more chaotic overnight. Buildings on fire and the governor there activating the National Guard. Eyewitness News reporter Candace McCallum joins us live from Lower Manhattan with more on another protest planned for today. Candace. Shirlene, even here in New York City, those uh, protesters have been extremely emotional. I will say of those 40 people who were arrested or summoned, many of them were cited just for not maintaining their social distance. But uh, burning trash cans are one of the many signs of the frustrations of those demonstrators. This began at Union Square with Black Lives Matter protesters. That was broken up, and the protest then picked up at Foley Square. That is the same place where a rally will be held this afternoon at 4 o'clock. This rally featuring Eric Garner's mother, Gwen Carr, her son also murdered by a police officer. This is just opening up an old wound, oh pouring salt into it. Mm. They keep coming into the, the police officers come into our neighborhoods. They they brutalize. Mm. They terrorize. They murder our children, what? and we have done nothing. Yeah, well, NYPD claiming during those protests and demonstration last night that some of their officers were injured. They're also claiming that one of the protesters tried to grab a gun of a deputy inspector. All of those officers, they are uh, expected to be okay.